Can you believe a car company just launched and landed a reusable rocket? A feat that only a handful of nations have achieved, marking a 100% success rate for Honda's first full test. Is Honda about to challenge the giants of space, like SpaceX? Let's dive in and see what's happening. So, picture this. June 17th, 2025. A big day in Japan. Honda, a name we all know for cars and motorcycles, quietly pulled off something incredible. At their research facility in a place called Taiki Town, up in Hokkaido, they launched an experimental reusable rocket. And the best part? It came back down and landed perfectly. This wasn't just a tiny hop. This rocket, about 6.3 meters tall, which is like roughly the height of a two-story building, shot up to 271.4 meters. That's pretty high, right? The whole flight lasted less than a minute, just 56.6 seconds. But here's the kicker. When it came back down, it landed super close to its target, only 37 centimeters off. That's like hitting a bullseye with a giant dart. The rocket itself wasn't super heavy. It weighed about 900 kilograms empty and around 1,312 kilograms when it had fuel. This whole test was about proving that they could launch a rocket, control it, and then bring it back down to land safely. And guess what? They nailed it. The big boss at Honda, Toshihiro Mibe, was super happy. He said they've taken another step forward in their reusable rocket research. This test was all about showing that the rocket could fly steady when going up and coming down, and that it could land precisely. And from what we saw, it did just that. Now you might be thinking, Honda? Rockets? Since when? Well, turns out, Honda hasn't just decided to jump into the space game overnight. They've actually been quietly working on rocket tech since way back in 2021. For a while, they kept things pretty hush-hush, only dropping hints about exploring space tech, including reusable rockets. This recent test is the first time they've really shown us what they've been up to. And how are they doing it? They're using all the amazing tech they've already got from making cars. Think about it. Engines, control systems, even the tech they use for self-driving cars. All that know-how is being used to build these rockets. It's pretty smart, actually. They've been doing tests with rocket engines and hovering at this Taiki Town facility since 2024, getting ready for this big moment. So it's not like they just woke up one day and said, let's build a rocket. They've been at it for a while. So what kind of fancy stuff is inside this Honda rocket? Well, it's got some cool features that are actually pretty similar to what you see on rockets from other big space companies. For starters, it has four legs that pop out when it's time to land. And it also has these things called aerodynamic fins near the nose, which help steer it in the air. Sound familiar? If you've seen SpaceX rockets land, you'll probably recognize these features. It also looks like this rocket uses special fuels, like super cold liquid methane and liquid oxygen. These are pretty common fuels for advanced rockets because they give a lot of power. Safety, of course, was a big deal. They had a huge area, about a kilometer all around the test site where no one was allowed to go. And the rocket had a special system to make sure it stayed exactly where it was supposed to fly. Honda is clearly serious about doing this safely. Now, for the big question, is Honda really going head-to-head -head with SpaceX? Let's be honest, not yet. SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket is a giant. It's 70 meters tall, which is like a 23-story building, and it's launched hundreds of satellites into orbit. It can carry tons and tons of stuff into space, like 22,800 kilograms when it's not reused and still a massive 18,500 kilograms when it is. Honda's rocket, on the other hand, is much, much smaller. It's only 6.3 meters tall, and it only went up a few hundred meters. Right now, it's built for suborbital flights, meaning it goes up and comes back down without actually circling the Earth. It's designed for launching small satellites, nothing close to what SpaceX is doing. However, Honda stepping into the reusable rocket game is still a huge deal. The market for reusable rockets is growing super fast. It's expected to be a multi-billion dollar business this year. And it's just going to keep getting bigger. So, while Honda might not be a direct competitor to SpaceX right now, they're definitely a new player in a very exciting field. Honda isn't stopping here. 
They have big plans for their space program. They want to be able to launch suborbital rockets by 2029. That's not too far off, is it? Their goal is to launch small satellites that can do things like watch the Earth, track the weather, and keep an eye on our climate. They even see how this rocket tech could help their other businesses. Imagine if their autonomous cars or sustainable transport systems could use data from their own satellites. That's pretty futuristic, right? But here's the thing. Honda hasn't said anything about selling these rocket services to other companies yet. They're still in the research phase, focusing on getting the technology just right for those suborbital launches. So we'll have to wait and see if they open up for business. Honda's successful test is a massive win for Japan. They are now the first Japanese company to land a reusable rocket, putting them right up there with the US and China in terms of this cutting edge technology. Japan's space industry is booming, with over 40 new space companies popping up in recent years. And it's not just Honda. More and more car companies are getting into space. We're talking about Geely, GM, Hyundai Kia, Toyota, and Venturi. It seems like traditional manufacturers are looking beyond just cars and trucks and seeing the vast potential of space. It's a really interesting trend, don't you think? What do you think this means for the future of space travel? So back to our original question, is Honda direct competition to SpaceX? Probably not in the way you might think. Honda's current rocket is all about smaller flights and launching tiny satellites. SpaceX, on the other hand, is launching massive rockets that take huge payloads into orbit. They're kind of playing in different leagues right now. But what Honda's success shows is that space technology is becoming more accessible. Companies that aren't even space companies are using their incredible engineering skills to break into this new frontier. As Honda continues to work toward its 2029 goals, it's going to add more competition and innovation to the reusable launch market, which is great for everyone because it could bring down costs and push technology even further. Honda's jump into space isn't about directly challenging SpaceX's current operations. It's more about creating a whole new part of the space industry, one focused on smaller, specialized launch services. This could actually work with the bigger space companies, rather than against them. It's an exciting time to be alive, watching these incredible advancements unfold. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.